guys welcome back to my channel it's G from happiness and crafting so today's Friday freebie day and we are on number 211 um, so again we're having a look back um, and this is a look back at number 110 um, I'll pop the link to it under the video um, and it's lovely so I know it looks like four circles which it is we are actually going for a Christmassy theme this year this year this um, this week loving it absolutely loving it um so yeah well it is four circles basically um but i'll show you how to do that in a minute so if you um have been with me all this time and you have seen 110 you'll know what we can do with it um but it is lovely so i'll show you what we can do um and we will make something as well and for our lovely lovely kofi supporters um i have some beautiful tags for you um i've already made some of these as well so i'll show you what i've done with these and of course they go together um so they all mix and match now i think what i would probably do with these as well is make some big tags um, for Christmas presents because I'm I'm into my little tags at the moment um, and especially sort of like clustery ones um, I'm quite in the mood for making that sort of thing but these are lovely so just lovely lovely tags they've got some beautiful birds Christmassy birds on there as well and there's enough room so you can write in there stick something on it or whatever you like to do so I will show you what I've done anyway but lovely lovely now i do have a couple of kits now again i've got a lovely fussy cut kit nice at christmas one i'm going to be using these today i've cut out the middle size ones on here so we've got the middle size ones these are the big ones look at these beautiful santas lovely lovely christmas trees so quick quick flip through you get lots of lovely lovely fussy cuts and again these can be made into some Christmas tags for your Christmas presents um, and super simple to fussy cut as well because we've got this lovely little line around there so it's really really easy for you to do look at that lovely stag with his bow tie um, so beautiful so you can use these for all sorts of things um, lovely lovely so we've got three different sizes these are the larger ones um, look at that aren't they just gorgeous and we've got some little teddy bears they're just beautiful and some snowmen and then these are the smaller ones so you get um, two pages the small you get eight all together so you get eight different designs and these are the four to a page and again these are the middle size ones on there so you get lots and lots so loving that and we also have here is a quick one these are some beautiful gnomes now my granddaughters are going to absolutely love these so these again i'm going to cut these out and use these as their um, little gift tags on their christmas presents this year so we have lots and lots i've only got the bigger ones on here i don't have the smaller ones cut out look at these aren't they just beautiful so we do have they do come with them um two to a page so they are smaller as well so that's our lovely gnomes and also um for this weekend we have 30 percent discount on all christmas um digitals in the um etsy store and also we have for our lovely kofis everything in the kofi shop will be 30 for five percent discount for our monthly supporters so you've got 35 percent for monthlies in Kofi and 30 percent discount for the Christmas ones um, in our Etsy shop but I'll pop the links down below right first of all I want to just show you what I did with our lovely little um, Kofi tags look at these aren't they just beautiful I have made these lovely, lovely tags. I just want to show you what I've done. I'll pop one of my fussy cuts on there and I popped them on with some um, this little foamy, foamy pads just so they're slightly raised. I've cut around it and they've also popped a little bit of twine on there to pop onto the presents and then we can just write on the back. So they are beautiful. I've done four with the fussy cuts. There's a little snowman. That's a beautiful Christmas tree. And of course, I've got a little bit of stickles on there. It's not actually stickles. It's my these um, Nouveau glitter drops, um, which are fab. And then I've got the little teddy bear on this one. So we've got a little bit of sparkle in there. And then on the ones with the birds, 
I've just popped. This one says Believe in the Magic of Christmas. This one says 25th, 25th at Christmas, Happy Christmas. And then we have Noel. But these are beautiful, aren't they? So, so simple to do. Really, really easy. Now, the first thing that I've done with our little circles is made a little, it's sort of like a little flippy book, really. Or, I don't know, not really flippy. A little pull-out one like that. So, I popped a fussy cut on the front. I popped a little star brad on there. So it just goes through and then what I thought you could do is just open that out You can do a little bit of journaling on there. You can do a journaling on the back as well And then again for the next one and then again for the big one at the back So this is just like the most simplest ever um, And it's lovely and I've just decorated the front one on here and that could probably just pop into a little pocket now what I am going to do, let me just put my fussy cut two bits over there. I'm going to show you in my big fat book. Look at this. This was our lovely original Friday freebie. Well, I think this is one of the one of them I've got, but it's the one that we did. Um, the um, this was last week's that we did, but it was this was 109, um, but that was in a different colour. And this one is this one. So we did it like this. So this is what I'm going to show you how to do today because a lot of you haven't seen the very, very beginning ones. But I want to put this one into my book that I'm doing now. And it just flips up. You can journal on this, journal on that. And then they just flip down and then you just close them up like that. And also on this side, I've just bent them over like that. And then you've got four little pockets in there to pop little bits and pieces in like that so they just stack up so there's so many different ways that you can use them um oh, i'm going to leave that in there like that so fabulous isn't it so we've got lots of lovely bits in this one how fat my book is super but that's lovely okay so i have already cut these out like this i'm going to use this one that we did in last week and i do believe i have a page in here which has some gesso on it this one here look at that some lovely lovely gesso which will look all nice and snowy won't it so again i'm going to do it like this because i think this looks fabulous i really do so i'm going to show you guys how we do it so let's just pop this to the side because I don't need that for a minute. I need to just bend over the edges. So I'm just going to... Now these have got like a little grid on it. So just take note of going with the, um, the lines. You don't have to. It's not majorly important. But now it doesn't really matter which way around these go. I want to sort of like do it a little bit even. So try and get it in the middle and then just sort of bend it over so they're pretty much because when we want to put them on there they want to be so it sort of like stacks up like that if you know what I mean don't think it really matters which way so let's bend it over there so just bend the end over and then this is our last one. Take that, bend it like that. So super simple, like that. So these then will stack in to each other like that and sit on the page. Now I've lost the page again. Well, I've got one that side, but now I can't do it that side because I bent them the other way but not that it really matters I suppose because you know, I want to do it this way where's my page gone oh whoa 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 where did you go there we are I'll pop a little thingy majiggity in there I think so we need to pop the smaller one on first so he will go at the top like this so we want that at the top now again depending on what you've got on the other side you can pop it over your page you don't have to 
stick it down. You can pop them over as long as they can lift up. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick this down. I'm just going to go for it and stick it. Oh my gosh, where's my glue? What did I do with my glue? Oh, there it is. I popped it upside down. So we know where it is. Now, I think on the last ones, the ones that I did in 110, I actually sewed around these. But I'm not going to sew around these. I'm going to just stick these on like that. Okay, stick that down. And then we need to... Oh, no, I've done it from the wrong way around, haven't I? Silly Billy. I need to put this one on first and then this one on so that they will flip up. Silly Billy. Let's just make sure we don't get glue on this one. There we go. Let's start from the bottom. There we go. A little bit of glue on there. Pop that so it's lined up. So you don't want it to go over the edge. You want it to sort of like be right on the end. And then like that. Probably be easy if you've got a, not such a thick book as me. But you could probably stick them all together first and then pop them on. Right, I'm going to measure these a little bit. What do you reckon? And I might just mark it off just so I know that they're going to be even. What do you reckon? There we go. Let's like get a little pencil. Let me just mark that. So that's where I need to stick this one. There we go. Pop that down. So that's the little mark I did. So we're going to just pop that just there, like that. Squeeze that down. Oops. Squeeze this one down. Lovely. Let's put this one on. Oops, this way. Like that. Come down just a little bit. So that one needs just a little mark there. Pop a little bit of glue on. Well, I hope you guys have had a lovely, lovely week. Um, I thought maybe Andy would have had to do our Friday freebie this week, but my throat is so much better. So, so much better. Um, Lots of honey and lemon and a couple of hot toddies here and there. Did me wonders. So that was good. But our weather is getting a little, little bit chilly at the moment. We had a big, big downpour earlier. Um, and so much rain comes in one go that everywhere was just flooding. I thought it was going to come in through our patio windows. Um, but it didn't. Oops, I need to come down a bit. Um, but it just pours off um, our balcony. It was just, gosh, it was our bedroom balcony. I really thought it was going to come in through the door. And then it just suddenly stopped, like it was just turned the, uh, turned the tap off. Oh, and we had lots of thunder and lightning as well. Lots and lots, which we haven't had a big thunderstorm for a long time. So that was exciting. Right, guys, look at that. Isn't that lovely? And then these just flip like that. I think this is fabulous. These flip down. Now, I'm going to pop something on here, but I'm going to make a little, little closure -y bit because then this, holding this one down, holds all of these down is at the same time. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, shall I use this big green one? What do you think? I think that's the biggest one. Let's just pop this like that. And then we can put a little brad in there. I'm going to, I think I'll back this. Let me just get a little bit of, a little bit of card. I'm going to just pop this to the side a minute. 
what did I do with my glue? Just make this a little bit thicker, I think. Because it's a little bit flimsy. Although it's on 160 GSM paper, it is a little bit soft. If you know what I mean. A little bit soft. We want it a little bit... A little bit thicker and heavier, don't we? Here we go. All my little bits of scrap paper come in so handy. There we go. Let's give this a quick... Quick cut around. Like that. There we are. Fabulous. There we go. See, that's harder. A lot, lot harder. Oh, the other thing I was going to show you. I have got some new inky daubers. Look at that. I took advice from one of you lovelies that said, I can't remember who you were now. Um, they got the domed one of these. Now, I looked on Amazon and I got a set that came with three little holders and this whole big bag of bits and pieces it's got um sanding bits on which i've tried on this one it's got 10 of the big ones so these are like giant finger dobbers aren't they um it comes with these which are like felt which is on this one which is great because i've tried this one and it's really smooth to do a big surface of coloring of inking we have got um a whole bunch of these um foamy ones so i'm going to see how i get on with these and it was really quite inexpensive actually for the amount that you get compared to my finger dobbers that aren't lasting very long at all but loving these i've not used the um sandpaper ones before but they are fantastic and again you know how these work they just come on and off i've not seen these sanding ones before not that I've really looked, but they are fab. A little bit bigger than this little thingamajiggity, but I'm just going to show you. I've got some scrap card here. Do you know what I mean? These just ink so well. And this just sands it all off. Look at that. And when you ink it up, it's so distressed. It's fabulous. Look at that. Love it. I'm probably... Um, new to this bit because i've not seen them before so it might have been out for ages and ages which it probably is but i'm loving them it's new to me new to me so not that i really do look enough to see what other people are doing but i think it's fab and this just it just acts like a big giant dauber um, and it seems pretty secure. The thing I didn't like about the, the one that I had before, it was so loose that this was moving all the time. Or it was actually, it was a foamy one and the foam kept coming off and it was driving me around the bend. So let's start afresh and see if these will work. I'll pop a link down below. Um, pop them in your basket if you don't have them because it's going to be Prime Day soon. And they might be um, on offer. You never know. Right, I have got some little star brads here. Look, shall I use that? I've got some bigger ones. I don't know where I got these from. I really don't. But I'm going to use it. Oh, I need to cut out a little... A little thing in my jiggity, don't I? A little circle. But I need to find my little um hole punch not hole punch my little things hiding over there out of the way let's get my little thingy with jiggity don't know what anything's called today let's get just get two of these oh i forgot to put a hole in that one okay oops And a hole in that, I think that's going to have to be cut down a little bit. Should we cut that down just a tad? I'll just make a hole in here first. Okay. 
going to pop that through with our little star bread which is here I'm going to make a hole through the words but that doesn't matter let's just open that up squash that down there we go so that will move I'm going to stick this one on top what should I do with my glue? It's right beside me. I think that should be okay long ways. I'm going to pop some glue on this bit. Pop this on the top. Oops. Squash that down. I'm going to hold that together. Oops. doing it all the wrong way round. I'm going to just hold that together just quickly just to make sure that sticks properly and then we will trim that off. Right, let's just pop that like that for a second. Right, before we do anything, shall we decorate this? No, that's why I've got my little fussy cuts. Let's make a little bit of room here. Bring these little fussy cuts down here. What shall we have? Oh, got such an array of these. And I quite like the Christmas tree. Christmas tree is lovely, isn't it? Oh, but then again, we've got a little gingerbread house. Oh, I like that one. Actually, I quite like that. That's what we'll have. We'll pop that on there. And then, shall we go for some little words? on these you can have Christmas you can have be joyful what have we got on here I think maybe we'll have Christmas 25 on there and then happy Christmas at the top there we go super simple let's pop these over there pop those down there now I think this one's inked look at that doesn't that look fabulous? Shall I pop that on a few little bits of this? Right, let's bring those down. Let's get our fussy cuts over there. Pop that up out of the way so we can see what we're doing. Take this, take my tweezers wherever they are. Under my sewing machine over there. Right, let's take some of these little, little inky, inky, little foam pads on here. Because then these little foam pads just raise them up just a little bit, um, which makes them really nice. Gives that that little bit of height, doesn't it? Oops. Don't these little things drive you around the bend? Getting all these little bits off takes so long. Give it a bit of a squeeze, they normally come off, don't they? There we go. There we are. That should be enough. And I'm going to pop on there like that. Fabulous. Don't think he needs anything else on there. Let's ink our little, our little Christmassy ones up. Let's get some more ink. Just ink these around. Just a little bit. I'm going to be doing lots of inky now. I've got me, my giant dauber. My poor little finger dauber things. Um, they are so worn out. Um... That I really need to just throw them away. I don't think they're any good for recycling for anything. But this is fab. Lovely, lovely. There we go. Super simple. Pop that to the side. The only thing with this one, it doesn't stand up, does it? It's, um, it has to lie down. Oh, I suppose I could put that like that if we had some of these, couldn't I? Let's just take these off. 
Look, I've got bits of thread. I was actually sorting out some of my lace and um, ribbon this morning, which took me a little while, but I sort of like, I don't have any more little um, bobbin things left to use, so I've just sort of tied them up with a little bit of paper which sounds, I'll show you in a minute but it's really good actually it's working quite well just so I can sort of like put them um, store them in a little container so look I like these shall we have a happy Christmas oh, it doesn't really matter where they go does it let's take these off One there, one there. Let's do this one. Take them off. Oops, they get staticky, don't they? So they stick everywhere. I had one stuck to my face the other day when I went downstairs. Andy was like, What on earth do you have on your face? And it was a little one of these stuck to me. They definitely get everywhere that's for sure should we have that one over a little bit oops and then this one can go up there look at that love it actually I think that would make a really nice Christmas card as well like this I think that will be fabulous right where's our little thingy my jiggity gone here we go let's there we go, stick this down so that does that. So we need to sort of trim this up a little bit. I'm not too worried about too much of it showing because it's got to show a little bit, hasn't it? So let's just let's just take it out. We need enough so it can swivel. Don't want to cut it all off, do we? Let's bend it round this way and ink this side if I can oops you're gonna bend there we go okay let's squash you down a bit I'm gonna use a little bit of three in one or fabric tack just on this little bit here like that so that's the bit we need to stick to the page we're going to stick it just like that. We're going to hold that down. I wonder if one of our little thingy majiggities little clip. Oh, not quite. Nearly. Just hold that down for a second. Pop that on. Love it. I think that looks so, so lovely. It's really really Christmassy isn't it as well so let's see so then this can you see that just goes across like that that can actually just go under there and hold that down even better and you lift it up and then you've got all of this to journal in or pop anything you like in journal on these little bits these just flip down that comes across and tucks under our little gingerbread house which says Seasons Greetings, which I look, think looks fabulous. So there we go, guys. And then we got this one, which I love this one. I do like little flippy things. Just, I mean, things that sort of like um, you can interact with in your journals. I think they look lovely. Do I have a little pocket in here? Oh, here we go. Just, I mean, so you could pop that in like that. Just pop the bigger one in to a little pocket and then you've got this that we'll just interact with and journal on I think it looks lovely fabulous 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 and then we go so there we go guys that is your Friday freebie for this week um, I'm loving it I'm sure you will probably come up with some other ideas um, it really is amazing how what you can do with just some circles 
um, I think they are fab and then again my lovely lovely Kofi supporters um, are going to get these beautiful tags and then again I've only used my fussy cuts on there but you can use anything absolutely anything you want but look at Santa doesn't he look lovely just beautiful um, and they are lovely lovely to pop on some presents look at these beautiful birds so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining it joining me don't forget we have 30% discount on our Christmas um, digitals in the Etsy shop and um, for our monthly supporters we have 35% discount um, for everything on Kofi. So have a fantastic, fantastic rest of the day, a lovely, lovely weekend. Take care, stay safe and I will see you soon. All right guys, bye bye. Mm -hmm.